Uh oh, we got a package at the door. Oh yes, queen. Ye what the frick? Did somebody shit on my package? Diarrhea. Doesn't smell like shit. <laughs> I think we're okay. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So we're at it again with another aloe yoga haul. So I actually tried aloe yoga for the first time about a month or so ago. And even though their leggings with that front seam just weren't really my vibe, I did however connect with their shorts. So I went ahead and did a huge haul of just the freaking shorts, man. I wanna test them out, see what we're looking at because the last time I tried their shorts on, I was sold. I also spied on their site these really unique sneakers that I just had to try, so. Gonna do an unboxing for you guys and see what are hits and maybe misses. Spent a lot on this, so, Allo, you best be on top of it, for real. But before we get into this video, if you are not already, definitely consider subscribing to my channel. I do videos like this all the time because together we got this. So let's go ahead and dive in. So let's go ahead and do this. First impressions, baby. Let's unpack this package together, shall we? Bay got me rocking the kimono. Come over here, show me. Show me what you got, Bay. Kimono. <laughs> show him your sunburn. No. It hurts too much. It hurts too much. <laughs> he can't sleep at night. So first of all, yeah, you saw that this package came in a little fudged up. Fudge. Literally fudge. Either somebody shit on my package or coffee, maybe? I don't. I don't know. Good boy. Pull. No, yeah, it's gonna flop open like a laptop. It's open like a laptop, like a laptop, like a laptop. <laughs> what? Like a laptop. No, 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 pull it where, where it's touching your chest. Yeah, 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 from there. That's where you wanna pull up, right there. Nope, yeah. Oh, from the bottom though, baby, from the bottom. From the bottom, yep, and then it's gonna flop open like a laptop. There! <laughs> I don't have a lot of Huzzah! Okay, okay. I guess I spent a good amount of money because they threw in a free freaking tote and it looks pretty dope. Got a marble looking awesome tote, dude. Now that I'm looking at it. Okay. All right, guys. So I'm just gonna pull out everything that we got and I'll go through them individually. Okay, so we have the Yogi lace-up shorts in white. These were $72. They're nice and thick. They got a front seam though. We're gonna see how that plays out. Okay, we have the Accolade sweat shorts. These I'm really excited for, like sweatpants shorts. Oh, they feel real nice. They were $62 though, so. Okay, we have the Dreamy shorts. These look super comfy for the summertime. 62 freaking dollars, so. Mm. We have the, oh my God, these are so soft. The Days shorts, $56. Oh my God, these are probably the softest things I've ever felt in my whole haul life. Oh, wow, dude. Soft like a newborn puppy, really. Oh, look at these beautiful blues. I had to get the blue for summertime. This is the Aloe Soft Aura. <gasps> $56, oh, nice. They're very soft. I have to hand it to them though, straight up out of the box, you can feel the quality in all of these. Not a single one has felt like it's lacking in that department. Quality is supreme, I gotta hand it to them, but we'll see how it actually fits though. And this is the ambiance shorts. I actually have these in orange and I love them so freaking much. If you watched my video last time, I was completely sold on them. So I had to get it in green apple. Oh yeah, look at that. Green, green sweet and sour apple all summer long. <sighs> all right, so that is it for the shorts. Let's see, we got our shoes. Oh, came in its own separate box. Thank you very much. First of all. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <sighs> Kimono's coming off, it's getting serious. You know it's luxurious when they got a little loophole for you to stick your finger in and then just kind of up, oh, up and over. 
Tell me they threw in a case for your shoes. Tell me they put a case in for your shoes, a little knapsack for when you travel or something or another. Yes, they did. But you know what? They best, because this was like, what, $172? I'm not kidding. No, they was 200. I stand corrected. These are, you're gonna see in a second why I chose these. They're freaking gorgeous. These are the women's wanderer sneakers in the color bone. <gasps> oh, sweet baby Jesus. One of the most beautiful sneakers I think I've ever seen. They like look like they have built-in socks. <laughs> That's what definitely like gravitated me towards this. And I just can't wait to try them out. Okay, yeah, let's go try all this on. All right, time to try these babies on. I wanna see how they look with the shorts. So let's try these on first. This is in my size, my true size, US six. <sighs> Come on, work for me, baby. Come on, bish, work for me. Oh, there's a little adjuster here, so I'm gonna loosen it up real quick. You are going on. These are freaking beautiful. How do they feel? They're gorgeous. They're comfortable. They feel ever so slightly a little bit snug. I think maybe I can just loosen everything up right here and they'll work well. Wow, look at that. They're so different from any other sneaker I've ever worn. Yes, yes queen. So these are exactly, exactly how I was hoping they would fit. The zero shoelaces is like, that's a godsend for me. I literally am turning into the woman who just can't stand shoelaces. I don't have time for that in my life. Like, no, that's outdated. I love these so much. They're very comfortable. These are keepers without a doubt. You got like a nice light gray contrast going right up here. Silver aloe yoga. Yoga. <laughs> Hello, what? The tan and gray look beautiful together. And I really love this sock design. It goes seamlessly throughout the entire shoe. It's like one big sock. The way it ties up is perfect. You literally have a little draw cord here to tighten it, or you can loosen it and loosen everything up. It fits perfect. It's definitely true to size for sure. They're very, very comfortable. They're not that cheap plastic on the bottom that you're, where you're slipping all over the place like cheap Nikes, like the cheap one. These are really sturdy. Woo! -hoo! Yeah, I would definitely go wandering in these. <laughs> so these are something I would definitely wear casually or to the gym doing light work. I wouldn't run in these. These aren't necessarily running sneakers. They don't have that crazy, crazy arch for running, but they do have a really nice grip. They're very comfortable. They almost have more of a flatter kind of design here. So yeah, I would lift weights in these, absolutely. Absolutely, yeah, mm-hmm. Quality's there. Hello. Oh my God. Check out the lace-up shorts. They're freaking awesome. These look like football pants. <laughs> Ooh, a little sporty action going on here. <sighs> Extremely stretchy, so comfortable. Love the white. They come in different colors, but I wanted that crisp, clean white. I had to have these because I've been really loving biker style shorts lately. So these did it for me. When I saw the clean, crisp white, I saw the lace up design. I really like things that just lace up. I think it's really flattering. And look at this cut right here. This cut makes me feel so kind of sexy. I don't know, do I go there? Do I dare to go there? So there is a slight camel toe, not as bad as the leggings last time. It's slightly there because there's a front seam. It's not very squat proof though. Like I wouldn't really wear this to the gym at all. This is about 80% squat proof, but they are like extremely comfortable, a little bit on the thicker side. I will say that they got a thicker material. But yeah, I love the big black aloe logo right there. I think this is really sporty. And it's honestly something I would wear biking, like straight up. Or just out, like going to a baseball game. I would wear this with a little crop top or something, a little jean jacket. I'd wear this, yeah, cute. 
Oh, heck yeah. We got the Accolade Sweat Short in Sterling. These are so comfortable. They remind me of grandpa sweatpants. My grandpa used to wear things like this. But nevertheless, it's trendy now, right? <laughs> so straight up, it's like somebody took a pair of sweatpants and just cut them. They're still that long biker length. So comfortable. Oh man. I love sweatpants though. I live in them all day, every day. So these are something I would wear um, every day. <laughs> you got two pockets here. The aloe logo is really pretty. It's got a uh, nice metallic three dimensional. It's raised. Ooh, very, very luxurious logo. I really love this option for comfortable shorts. I like them a little bit longer and having a variety of different style shorts to wear in the summer. Sometimes I want real short shorts, kind of show out. And then sometimes I need like sweat shorts that are very comfortable. I could throw on after the beach. Longer would be nice. These really, these are it. These are very good, very high quality. The inside of these sweat shorts are very soft. It's got like a nice fuzzy, almost plush feel to it. So extremely soft on the inside liner here. And then the outside feels like a more or less stretchy kind of cotton base. So it's warm, cozy, yeah, comfortable. Would you use these in the gymnasium? To warm up, yeah, I would. I would definitely like warm up in these a little bit. Once I start sweating, these would come right off. And then I'd have my like, booty shorts, my like Gymshark short, training shorts or something like that underneath. But uh, yeah, for everything else, warming up, lounging on the couch, going out, hanging out, yes. So these are the dreamy shorts in the color ivory, not a true white. They have pockets that are just straight mesh, which is cool. Like you can see right through these pockets. That is pretty, pretty interesting. Nice meshy. So obviously these are similar in style where it's like more casual. The other ones you just saw are more of a heavy, thicker sweat. This is a lot more lightweight. So this is more like summer friendly for sure. Plus they're a lot shorter. So if you live in a hot area, right now it's humid as balls here. So these will come in clutch for the weather right now. Yeah, I think they're really cute and flattering. They fit nice. Great, everything so far has been really true to size. I'm thinking that you might want to do a squat test to make sure there's no under booty popping out of the back. True. Hit me. How do you feel? You feel secure in there? I do. I do. Makes the glutes look nice. Kind of almost comes up in between the cheeks a little bit. They are very flattering. I'll take it. They sit right on the hips too. They like don't move at all. It stays really nice and secure. They're not very squat proof either. They're probably about 80% as well. This is not something I would wear to a gym actively. These are the kind of shorts where it's like I throw them on over a bikini maybe just like for a summer boat ride. You know what I mean? Like nice lightweight, but it's super comfortable because I'm like sitting a lot, that kind of thing. These are the days shorts in athletic Heather Gray. These are the softest, feathery, lightest, buttery, silkiest shorts I've ever put on my bare skin. <laughs> wow. They are slightly shorter than the dreamy ones, as you can see. Like, they're definitely more on the shorter side. Oh God, it feels like I'm wearing absolutely nothing at all. It feels like I'm wearing air. Is that possible? They make the booty look nice too. So you do have two pockets, a drawstring. Out of everything so far, these are probably the comfiest, I don't know. They just, they're so soft. These aren't necessarily something I'm gonna be like, I wouldn't really train hard in these. They are delicate, you know what I'm saying? So I don't think I would do anything crazy. These are like good sleep shorts actually, or when you're chilling, like editing, doing your thing. Wearing them out in the summer, for sure. Like, I'm gonna go for a walk with my imaginary dog and I would, um, I would wear these. They don't go anywhere. They're really secure, yeah. They don't move around. The most that happens is the material like the other shorts that you just saw, they kind of go right up the bum when you squat. They just kind of make their way right up and stick in there like in making it their home. But it's not the end of the world. You just gotta pick that little wedgie. Pick it, there's nothing wrong with that. Woo! 
Okay, now we're entering gym shorts mode. These are the Aloe Soft Shorts. I tried their leggings on last time. Loved them, super soft, but they gave me the dreaded CT. These don't. These don't give me a camel toe. <laughs> I don't know why. It's the same thing, just shorts, but hey. Now these are something I would work out in. Do some hip thrusts in them. I would. They're very short though, so beware of that. Yeah, man, you got like the double layered band here. It's nice and ribbed, moderate compression, nothing crazy. I love that there's no like, I guess it's maybe because it's too short, but there's no like real digging around the thighs because I have naturally like thicker thighs. This is where I, I carry a lot of my weight. <laughs> so um, yeah, they work for me. They just lay nicely over top. Very, very, very soft, but I definitely feel like that this would wick very well as well. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. They seem to be holding up very well being squat proof, so that's good. They do roll up slightly right here, I can feel it. Like if I squat a lot, doing jump squats and things like that, yeah. Yeah, so right after squatting, it's definitely gonna roll up a little bit. Not the end of the world, again, like even if you don't use these for necessarily hitting the gym, doing stretching and yoga, that's what they're here for. Oh yeah, baby. Saving the best for last. <laughs> so I got some experience with these ambiance, ambiance shorts. I love the orange ones they came in. Now these sour green, I don't even know if it's sour, I'm just gonna go with that. The green apple shorts, they're beautiful. For my gals who love to work out at the gym and do cardio based types of movements, if you like to exercise outside, walking, you're very active, lifting weights, you name it, anything. These are your shorts. Straight up, if you do not have this tied, from my experience, they kinda can gape, like right around the hips here. Squatting, it'll gape for sure. You gotta tie them up. But luckily, they are really nice and secure when you tie them. They don't really go anywhere, so it's not like it keeps on tying on you. And once it's nice and securely tied, that's when you're good to go. You do have a built-in liner here. So this is what I love. It does roll up slightly, the liner. And this is more of like a thicker, not so much of a Spanx, but more of a, I wanna say it's almost like a cotton base underliner here. You have the nice white aloe yoga printed on, and you have not one, but two mesh pockets on each hip. So that's really nice. You have your little hidden pockets if you need to put your car keys or something in when you run. And you have the overlying, complete, breathable mesh on top here. They make the peach look nice too, girl. Yeah, thanks. They do make the peach look thick, like a big, um, I don't know, like a big green apple maybe. The shorts underneath are more of like a nice moderate type of compression. So it does hold you in. You feel them kind of like, holding you really nice. So these are definitely, if you're a runner, I gotta start getting into running, man. Get your outdoor jog in. Oof, and the kicks too? Oh, uh. oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> My new beanbag chair, okay? It's still working itself out, that's why it looks clumpy. It's very hard to rank these because they're so like different from each other. Each one serves its purpose, for real. Like these ones, total workout, running, run on the beach, like summer workout. The lace-ups are just the classy, sporty look that you wanna wear out to a game, but be casual and extremely cute and have a unique look to yourself and stand the frig out a little bit, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I love these. <laughs> these sweat shorts, grandpa shorts, I'm gonna call them. <laughs> They're very much like the casual, I am not doing shit today, I wanna relax, leave me alone shorts. These, when I wanna feel naked, these I would wear kind of just low key yoga. I think these I'd probably wear the least if I'm gonna be honest with you. Between the front seams and the really, really shortness of them, I don't really see myself wearing them that often. I really don't, so I'd probably return these ones. Um, these are also really good because they are not too short, not too long. They're a really nice, happy, medium, casual, cozy, like I'm gonna go on a boat trip, wear a pair of shades, 
put on my SPF and happy vacation. <laughs> I'm tired now. Help me. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, but the shoes. <laughs> oh, true that. The sneakers are a definite keeper. There's no doubt in my mind. I'm obsessed. I forgot I was even wearing these. That's how comfortable they are. Alrighty guys, so that was the full aloe yoga shorts haul. What did you guys think? Comment down below if you have any questions at all. These were pretty much my first impressions of the shorts. I have really come to the conclusion that I like aloe yoga a lot. I like their shorts and I really like their sports bras too. Even though me and the leggings didn't agree during the last video, they still have dope high quality gear that fits a lot of different areas of my lifestyle, so I really appreciate that. <laughs> so yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and I will catch you in my next video.